Hello, it is the Bearded Beerman coming to you from the studio. And we've got Joe back. And we've got four, I tell you, four IPAs. Uh, my good friend Tom hooked me up with some, uh, some beer on his last trip over the Oregon border. So let's jump into it. We are going to start with Old 99 Brewing Company. This is For the Win IPA. This comes in at 7%. And it's got a nice story on the back. Are you ready for story time? Paragraphs. There you go. It all started with the quest to find the perfect Northwest style IPA. Are you listening, Jake, out there? It's a Northwest. So, the brew crew ran a series of experimental IPAs, each with its own strengths. On the, t <laughs> on the 10th of brew, we had it all lined up. Uh, indeed, to pull off the win, for the win IPA was born. A true Northwest style IPA with only the good stuff offering a subtle malt sweetness with a five hop blend adding just the right amount of bitterness and aroma. Drinking a great IPA is a choice to choose wisely. Are you excited by that? I know I am. Must be good, must be great. I'm hoping. The way it's talking, it better be good. Must be great. All right. The crack. To them. It's so, before, uh, I don't see a date, okay. but I've had it for about a month, so we're going to guess it's somewhere about the two-month range. Oh. Oh, very good nose. Great color. Look at that. Just a light, easy head on it. Dink. Oh man, the Very aroma. Strong, uh, citra. Citra, I'm picking up the pine. Mmm. Just walk in the forest and go yeah. to a tree and just Jeepers Creepers smell that shit. Jeepers Creepers, how about the bee? Okay, sorry. Ah. Oh, the, the, the nose is very good. It's got a lot going on. You, you're getting the standard citrus, slightly uh, grapefruit, uh, the piney, the resin. Mm. A good color. Uh, Was that a little copper? Mm. Well, I'm going to try it. Cheers. A lot more uh, sharpness on the tongue than I was expecting. It's good. That resin's very strong on the tongue. I, I would like to know what the five hops on this was, because that is really interesting. I, t I definitely taste prismatic hops Ooh. and citra hops. The citra I can see, yeah. And, uh, Mosaic. Mosaic. That's the that's another one. Definitely mosaic hops right there. Those are the popular ones, so probably some kiss, uh, cascade because that's another super popular one. But that's pretty tasty. It's very good, very refreshing. Yeah. It, it it almost leaves your mouth dry uh, dry feeling at the end, so yeah, you want to have that's more. That's what I was that's what I was gonna tell you. Yeah. Mm. Inner cheeks feel dry. Wow. Ah. Well, unless you have an opinion, I'm thinking this is a good solid two beers. Mm -hmm. 
was lettuce hops or something. Remember when we were at the rock? Oh, the electric lettuce by a uh, uh, What was the hops that were in that? I don't know about the hops. Has that hop I'll look at it and do that. Has that hop in here? I think it was mosaic. Yeah, mosaic's the most popular, at least in California. Mm. Which is not accurate because I know everybody uses them. I'm just saying because we live in California, we see a lot of mosaic. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna say a solid two beards on this guy because that is good, good flavor. Mm. Very sharp. Happy mouth. Very sharp. A little bit of a dance. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. What should be next? Goodbye, old ninety nine. You brought us great joy. I'm going to put it over here. Next up, we have one we have had before. If you go back in the way, way back machine, or if you go back in YouTube, you can go back to, was it the second video? I reviewed Altamont Wowie Mau <clears throat> Maui Wowie on tap at one of my local tap houses and it was a casked uh, uh, beer. So now Tom was able to find me a can of it. So I thought it'd be fun after so many months to try the other version of it and see how it tastes. So for those who don't want to go back and watch the other video, casked is one that has sat in a keg uh, uncarbonized and is all natural and is served at room temperature about 60 to 70 degrees so now we are going for the can version of the awesomeness this guy is one month old coming in at 6.5 percent and if I remember right you have not tried this one correct all right No, no, no. The 99 wishes it could be like this. You love the 99. The 99 was tasty. It was very well done. So we got a nice little bit of head on it. There we go. Give you the can review. Good color. Quite a bit of carbonation. Mmm. The, uh, the fruits on this is pretty impressive. So, this one has got a nice short little description on it. The Maui Waui is a single malt IPA that is light in body and color with a soft bitterness, mosaic and citrus hops give a strong aroma and flavors of guava, pineapple, and mango. You did. And you said guava, guava. too. Mm. Well, here's to y'all. I like it. It's not over sweet in yeah, any sense. Well, yes. Better than 99. And this is very important to Joe. But it's very good, very clean. The hops are very predominant throughout it. It's kind of leaving the, the top of my mouth kind of tingly. Yes, they do. I, I, I know it's mosaic We might have to test that theory on some other episode. Mm. Yeah, comparing it to the, the cask, it's not nearly as sweet. Uh, 
the hops are very much there. The bitterness is kind of coming and going. It's there and then it kind of fades out. That's good. I, I like Altamont. They put out a lot of good stuff. Yeah, that that's a strong three beards. I I like everything about that. Mm. The nosing is just amazing. Mm. Which just makes you want to have a little, right? Oh, excuse me. Good color, good taste, good appearance. Mm, that swirl releases a lot of other aromas. Mm. That is a tasty beer. Try it out. Or if you're close enough, check out check out their brewery. So next up. We are going for another local brewery, Knee Deep Brewery in Auburn, California. Tom was super impressed with this one. It is slow mo. And it's a picture of a hop running. It is a 100% mosaic hopped. I probably could have kept that quiet and see if the Joe who can tell mosaic could tell. So this has got a little description on the back. This light hopped, or I'm sorry, light bodied, single hopped mosaic IPA is bursting with aromas and ripe summer berries, citrus and passion fruit and flavorful enough to sip, smooth enough to crush. So, what are we going to do? Are we going to sip it or crush it? Let's find out. So, this is uh, just about one month old and is coming in at 41 IBUs. Pretty slow, but we'll see. Whoa. Lots of head on that guy. A special gift for the unknown. Holy cow. That is technical difficulties, but it's okay. <laughs> Here you go, you care. Go help go help a brother out. There you go. Woohoo! Yeah. Fumble. Fumble. Alright. The less heavy one. Oh my goodness. This may be a recording, but I'm just going to sit here and smell my beer. Oh, that is amazing. It, it, it's like a. If I walked into somewhere store, I'd probably buy something. Yeah. If I walked into someone's house or something, you know, go in their backyard and have smelt the smell, I'd just think there's pine trees everywhere. There's... The fresh fruit, I can smell it. It's very, it's still green though. It's not like it's yeah. ripe fruit. Like, it's like, very strawberries and blackberry and raspberries where it's still in the vine you're getting that fresh yeah. lively smell and the color yeah you're right it is clear as can be but yeah cheers to you all wow so that's what just mosaic tastes like by itself <laughs> he knows. I would have definitely guessed that. Yeah. Well, I would have known that. Yeah. I know for a fact that I know. It's very clean. Very clean. Is this 
It doesn't have extra hops. It doesn't have other hops. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing battling here. It's all one. Uh, kind of a rich flavor with a slight bitter on the very end of the finish. No, it's not bad at all. I can see why Tom likes it so much. It's not battling. The bitterness isn't battling. Especially with all this hot weather we've been having, this is very nice. Yeah. Two. Two good beards for this guy. I think Joe disagrees, but that's okay. Uh, that's why they pay me the big bucks. That's not bad. Uh, Again, yeah. uh, I saw it at Total Wine and Bevmo, so you might be able to find it in most places. Uh, that, on the other hand, is a little on the more pricey side. I think I saw it fourteen dollars for a six pack, but it's very tasty. Uh, out of all the choices, that's not bad. So pick it up. Support local breweries. Yes, if they're good. So, last up, last, we have the Wild Ride Brew, the Electric Fly IPA from Oregon, the cameraman's favorite land. The rare cameraman. <laughs> the rare cameraman. Uh, let's see, this has words on it. Prepared to lift off and experience an IPA that is sure to excite. The Electric Fly showcases a blend of premium two-row and honey malts, which lay a perfect perch. Oh, I see what they did there, perch. Um, and for the addition of hops. Flown in from the southern hemisphere, the unique hops are used to give the beer a pleasant flavor and aroma. Will you stop that? <laughs> and tropical fruit. These selection select ingredients will exhilarate at first taste and deliver a satisfying experience. You prepare. As you prepare to land, are you excited? It's are your exciting. taste buds just like dripping for excitement to take off? It's exciting. He's excited. I'm excited. Boys. There you go. All right, let's pop this baby. It's got a really cool cap. I don't know if you can see it, but what there it you go. What's it say on top? Wild Ride Brew Company. I like that one. Cool. We'll have to keep that one. Good gas. Ooh, good nose. Ooh, good color. Ooh, pretty hat. It doesn't say. <gasps> Cameraman's payment. <laughs> Just in case, let's give you a little more. Smells like mosaic. See. The expert in see. mosaic. Mm. There is no sweetness on this nose. Slight piney on it. Yeah, actually more resin than pine. Yes, I know they're very similar. Little fruit. I think the pet rush is a huge bucket. Mm. Oh. So many flavors. I'm just too excited. Here we go. It's very exciting. Cheers. Cheers. Don't think it's mosaic. I like that. Wow. So this is also coming in at 65 IBUs, 
6.3% alcohol. It, it still does the drying on the tongue. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know what hop that is. That is tasty. It has like the beginning is of like what a mosaic would have, but it doesn't have that mosaic aftertaste that stays with you. Mm. So that's definitely not mosaic. Hmm. Wow. That is fantastically intriguing. So the color is great. It's very clear. Light head. Large bubbles. Kind of a rind finish on it. It doesn't say that it's alcoholic, but it says two uncommon hops. Ooh, I like uncommon. I like experimental even better. But Rare hops. <laughs> mm. I want to go to Oregon right now and try more of their beers because of this. It, it's just, it's different. It's got good taste the drying is not uncomfortable so makes you want to have another sip I don't know how to rate it hmm I think I'm gonna to have to sit with this one but it have some time to air and uh, see how we feel later. All right, so this one, I'm I'm lost on it. So I need you guys to go out and try it to tell me what you think. Uh, the flavor's good. It's it's unusual. As it has warmed up, the flavors continue to be good. Uh, it's got some drying. It's very kind of a uh, rind on it on the finish. I, I like it, but I don't know how to rate it. I, I don't know if it's worthy of a beard. What about you? What, what are your thoughts? It's unrateable at this point. It's unrateable at this time. So, we're leaving this one unrated. Which is kind of depressing for the final beer for tonight. But, I don't know. Go check them out. If you're in Oregon, go check them out. Wild Ride Brewery in Raymond, Oregon. And maybe I've had it too long. I don't know. And, uh, well, maybe I'll just have to make a drive up there and try it myself fresh and see if my thoughts change. But thank you all for coming down. Thank you, Joe, for joining us for another episode. And uh, please hit the subscribe button. Tell all of your friends. And we will see you next time. Take care.